What was the bird? Uh, it was an homage to uh, Stromile Swift. Yeah. Well, Grant's the original Stromile of our team, but, you know, we can share it around. Yeah. And been waiting to bust that one out, or just? Uh, you did, it's been in the back pocket for a little while. Yeah. Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you give us like the backstory? Like, why do you owe an homage to Storm House with? Uh, well, there's a couple times last year where Grant was just elevating on guys, and so we drew the comp to Storm House Swift, and there's some alternate nicknames. And so then it's just, you know, I've been wanting to have it. It's a great celebration. And I realized it's more that like Grant, for one, has some similarities, but I felt like uh, I myself was just like, it was looking in the mirror. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so they deemed it appropriate. So did you steal it from Grant then? Uh, no, we did it for Grant. I'm trying to think who. Last year. Yeah, I don't know. It started last year. He didn't. He didn't originate it. I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was me or if it was somebody. Oh, I think it was P. West, our trainer, Paul West. Yeah, yeah he was the originator. Yeah, I'll credit to him. Yeah. What about your game? It resembles from Al Swift. Explosive athleticism. Next question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Any other questions for Luke? You're my favorite player. Thanks, Grant. <laughs> You're one of my favorite teammates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah all right. So, so coming into this game, did you kind of tell you, everyone, everyone in the locker room that you were going to do the celebration? Or was it oh no, I, I've kind of done it on the bench a little bit. With P. West and some others of for Grant or just anyone, and so yeah. I don't know. Just trying to keep it fresh and original, and you don't want to. I guess it's not original; it's the exact opposite. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great quote. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else for Luke? What's, what's it been like playing with Blake this year? Joe talked about all the different like, advice and experiences he's kind of been able to share with you guys. Being with him. Uh, yeah, I mean he's a great teammate, and he's always like just uplifting guys and helping guys, and um, but like it's a great balance of. It's like great being around the team, and he's a great person to have around. And then also, just when it comes to the, the games, it's all business, and uh, you can tell by the way that he goes out and plays and just uh, gives everything he can to contribute. So I think it's a pretty infectious thing for the team, and um, yeah, we're very fortunate and lucky to have him. And on uh, you know the short contest there, I think Joe said before the game, some guys are starting to adjust to that, go around it. What's kind of the counter you're figuring out for that? Yeah, well, a lot of times you're in a pretty bad position to start, so it's kind of like uplifting and it's kind of weighing the balance of like all right and they're like trying to t make this shot worse and it's better than just standing there I guess so you kind of just playing that balance there's not really like uh, anything too much like some guys are driving it but I'm honestly more in the play than I would be if I was just trying to run out on it so uh, I mean, you obviously don't want to do it when situations seem but it's like if they seem to have a pretty good shot you want to try to do whatever you can and live with the result whether they shoot or try to drive it yeah do you try to like land with a split stance or something like that just to kind of be ready for the attack? Uh, yeah, I was definitely like not trying to like jump forward really much and like, yeah, be more in the position. And then usually by the time they are driving, like you do have the time to like kind of land and turn. Or a lot of times too, I feel like it's more like compressed plays where they're kicking out to that guy. So it tends to be more bodies in the paint, which usually helps as well. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably like just. It's, you're kind of like figuring it out and like learning the whole time with it, but I mean, it's basketball and there's going to be bad spots here no matter what. So, anything to try to just like raise that up a little bit is worth doing. So, yeah. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.